Y'all ain't doing that anyway. Y'all might as well subscribe to the channel, like, comment, all that good stuff. That makes no absolute sense at all. Hey guys, so I'm gonna try to get a vlog in for you guys today. Life has been hectic with this little coronavirus going on. And I just had my 25th birthday and it was not what I expected 25 to be like. It was very hard and it hurt it really bad. Um... Maybe that's just because of the coronavirus or whatever, but it's just weird being quarantined and stuff like this. I actually just had my first therapy session online. Well, not my first, but I usually go in office for therapy, but today we did it strictly online just because of all these like rules and regulations. Um, but my birthday was pretty smooth. People who love me came out to surprise me at my surprise little birthday dinner that my boyfriend put together for me or whatever um we are pretty good on groceries but i want to go pick up some vitamins because i don't have any and i also want to pick up some protein powder just because i ate a lot over the weekend and i bought like a lot of stuff that's kind of carbs carb based just because like we don't know like when this will be lifted or we just want to kind of like stockpile food so we got a lot of stuff that's like heavy carbs like we have rice oatmeal beans and stuff like that now i have frozen vegetables or whatever but i feel like i still want to pick up some protein powder because i want to kind of put those in so i'm not eating all the food also because i tend to eat when i'm bored and i think john does the same thing so i'm gonna pick up some protein powder so we can kind of ease that in for maybe like a lunch and maybe just cook for dinner now, I do have chicken or whatever, so don't think that I'm, like, vegan. I mean, not vegan. Um, vegetarian or whatever. But I wanted to pick up some protein powder for some... What is the word that I'm thinking about? Meal replacements. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I didn't get a chance to take a picture with my balloons or whatever. But um, John got those for me. They're so cute. Um, I think I'm going to make a wish and let them go while they still have some ear in them. Um, and then my dad bought me a ring light for Christmas. Not Christmas, my birthday. Then I got some roses from Jonathan. They're so pretty. So, And then my friends actually got me these gifts. Um, I don't remember who got me what, but Chelsea and Brisha got me... One got me a devotional, and then one got me this weekly prayer project. And I really love these because um, praying, praying to me, sometimes I kind of feel like I don't know what to say or I kind of need a little bit of guidance. I don't want to always, you know, go into prayer, you know, asking for something. Um, so I feel like this is a good guide. And... It does have some pages in here that you can write in. Um, but I think I'm going to write mine on paper just so I can like reuse that. Or even, you know, I don't know, around quarantine. Maybe I can do some of these activities on YouTube or something. Like, I don't know. Because um, I feel like right now, a lot of us need to be praying. A lot of us need to be reading our Bible. And I feel like we need to be being connected with God, especially at a time like this. And I feel like with them pausing life, that is your opportunity to get right with God. I feel like I feel like he kind of like trying to get our attention. Uh, that's Milo over here making all these noises. But I'm about to go to the store, so I'm not about to let him out. Um, yeah, so I feel like he's just trying to get our attention right now. And I feel like that's why all this chaos is going. Um... At first, I was kind of scared, like, that I was going to get the corona. But I think I was, and now I'm more so, like, no, like, I'm covered. And if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. And if I do get sick, I know God will heal me if that is meant for me. And I'll be fine. I think I was more so nervous, like, about the whole, like, being quarantined and shut down and stuff like that. But it's weird because I don't go anywhere anyway. Like, I'm an extreme introvert, so... I already stay in the house, but now that I have to stay in the house, I feel like I don't want to stay in the house, which is weird. So right now, I'm about to head over to Target and probably Vitamin Shop so I can see if they have some protein I have in the house on hand or whatever. And then grab some vitamins. So I'll show you guys what I get when I come back from the store. So 
I feel like talking today. So I'm gonna do a little card chat with y'all or whatever. Oh. I think my next few videos will be on specifically really just reparenting and nurturing your inner child. Um, I know I'm not the only one who is experiencing this and maybe people around me try to ignore this type of stuff. But I'm not okay with people telling me that I'm not able to feel a certain way because I'm an adult. That has really like been pissing me off here lately. And it's basically telling you that your feelings don't matter and you've grown and you should get over it. That's not true, first of all. And so I feel like uh, I've been doing some work on this, but it's kind of hard for me to do this work when I don't have the right people around me who are supporting me and, you know, like telling me, you know, oh, that's good that you're doing that. But instead, I feel like I get a lot of like negative, like feedback and people just saying like, oh, you ground, get over it. But that's, that's, that's not reality because stuff don't just go away because you've grown you know stuff you just suppress it and I feel like the more I suppress like it's just starting to like really like spill out at this point like the cup is just it has holes in it and it's just spilling out everywhere really I feel like this is an issue specifically in our community you know a lot of times people just have this mentality of Oh, well, this is the cards you've been dealt deal with them, play them to the best of your advantage. But that's not okay. I feel like that's why we need to have more, you know, people of color in the mental health field to, you know, heal these wounds. This is an issue of generational curses that we keep going through the same stuff. And people are not validating each other's feelings. Like, some people are very pessimistic and they're kind of just like, oh, or just ignoring it. But, like... I'm happy that my therapy experience has inspired other people to go to therapy, like um, friends, family. But I think it's important that we take our mental health serious, uh, specifically in our community. Um, I feel like a lot of times we are fighting about like all these unjust, um, all these inequalities and stuff like that but i feel like the root of the problem is we're not healed from other stuff we, you know we do carry the burden of our ancestors and segregation and slavery because it's still present in today's society honestly but i feel like we have to learn how to deal with the emotions instead of just you know living through it like it's okay to say you know that hurts like but instead I feel like we just get mad and we complain but I feel like if we honestly unite as people we can you know build our own and be just like everybody else or kind of just like level the playing field I feel like right now it's unequal because people aren't doing the work and I understand just like people everybody can't afford therapy but like there are other options besides therapy and I'm just like starting to realize that like you can get you a life coach um life coaches aren't cheap either but um my good uncle Tony Tony Gaskins he have a website called my mentor dot life and apparently he has life coaches on there that start anywhere from twenty dollars and can go up to you know thousands of dollars if you bougie like that but I feel like it's important that we have people who are around us who can sometimes coach us through a situation in a non-biased way um so that's why I think it's important to you know talk to other people because your family is not really gonna understand especially if they aren't in a place of healing or walking from love either I feel like that's something that I'm really 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 trying to do I'm trying to operate out of love more and it can get hard because I could find myself, you know, back in old negative patterns, you know, just feeding off the energy around me. But that's why it's important, you know, to protect your energy. And so that's kind of just where I'm at with it. I feel like I am personally myself going to take this time of like quarantine or work from home, whatever y'all people doing. Uh, personally, I work from home. Um, I'm going to take this time to really get in tune with God, get in tune with myself. 
Okay, so I just got back from Target. Um, I didn't end up getting protein powder, but I did pick up some vitamins. Um, these are the vitamins I take on the regular. Um, I just was out. And I also picked up some pads. Um, just some organic pads because I don't know how long this is going to last. And this is not the kind I usually buy, but, um, they were sold out of everything. I mean, I usually use organic, but just not this brand in particular. But, uh, like I said, they were sold out of everything, for real. Um, I picked up these little treats for the dogs. I don't know, just so they can have something to chew on. And, for real, in Target, I just picked up some cheese, because I think we're going to do, um, tacos one of these days. So I bought that little taco kit up there, that large one. So, we'll probably do tacos. So I'll probably put one in the freezer because I don't know when I'll use this other cheese. And I just realized you can freeze cheese and I didn't know that. And I'm going to put this other one in the refrigerator. But I think we pretty good over here. Like this refrigerator is stuffed to capacity. Now I do have vegetables so y'all don't come for me. But it is a lot of processed stuff in here. However... We don't know when it's going to be over. But, I mean, I got a lot of variety of stuff. I got chicken, a lot of chicken, three packs of chicken, got some pasta, veggies, breads, cookies, pizza rolls, more chicken, like some shrimp back there, more veggies back there. Um, I even got some cans of soup. Listen, we are stocked. We are stocked and we ready to go. I got a lot of spaghetti sauce, like, we cooking for a long time, and the point of going out, even when the restaurants open back up, because it's just way too much food, and it need to get cooked, but right now, I'm just letting my phone charge, I think I'm going to take Milo for a walk, because we need to get outside, and the gyms were closed today, so, yeah, so it's pretty nice outside, you can't really tell that the world's ending, <laughs> but... I mean, it's super shiny right there, but it's a pretty nice day out. So, I'm going to get out with the pup in a second. Um, so, when I was, um, come on. So, when I was leaving Target earlier, I just seen, like, so many people walking outside. And it's probably because none of the gyms are open. So, right now, I'm about to just walk the pup. And I want to see if our fitness centers are open. Um, they might not be, but I kind of just want to check. They called a quick little meeting at work, and I actually went to the office today. Everybody I know is working from home exclusively. Now, mind you, my job already worked from home, you know, half the week. They had a meeting, and I'm thinking that they called a meeting to tell us that we're all going to be working from home. They just gave us an extra day to work at home. That makes no absolute sense at all. Like, why are you risking our lives to have to come to this office? Now, it's only two days a week, but still, like... This virus is so contagious. I don't understand why they're putting their employees' lives at risk. And they're like, well, if you're sick, don't come. Like, But it's, it's so stupid. If the government is telling us to stay home, why are you trying to make us go into the office? Everything is closed. That makes no sense to me. Like... I feel like at times like this, you can really see how a company feels about their employees and that... And that just, that's like a smack in the face, and that is crazy. Um, what I'm about to do is read my Bible because I'm feeling real mad right now. So I need to calm myself down. Uh, I've been reading the book of John. Yeah, so I think I'm on 
chapter five right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that chapter before I probably like get in the shower or take a bath. I need to relax because that just really pissed me off and stressed me out. Um yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope I got some good content for y'all to watch since y'all ain't doing that anyway. Y'all might as well subscribe to the channel, like, comment, all that good stuff. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and record a video tomorrow. Um, just on parenting and really nurturing your inner child because I think that's some important information that people can be working on while they sitting at home. Unlike me, when I gotta go to work. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and vlog here. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye!